Drafting Scales The architectural draftsman normally uses an architect scale for reducing and enlarging the size or measurement of an object. There are two systems of measurement, namely the metric system and the English system. Here are the sample metric scale. The architectural use of metric system. Always remember that the smaller the number used in metric scale, the bigger the size in the triangular scale, whereas the larger the number used, the smaller size of actual measurement. Full size scale. The one is to one is a full size scale, and each division measures one millimeter in width with the numbering of the calibrations at 10 mm intervals. This same scale is convenient for ratios of 1 is to 10, 1 is to 100, and 1 is to 1000. Half size scale. The 1 is to 2 is one half size scale and each division is equal to 2 mm with the calibration numbering at 20 unit intervals. In addition, this scale is convenient for ratios of 1 is to 20, 1 is to 200, and 1 is to 2000. Here are the sample architectural use of metric scale. First, the city map. Its ratio is 1 is to 2500, or 1 is to 1250. The comparison to 1 meter is 0.4 mm which is equals to 1 meter. The comparison for 1 is to 1,250 is 0.8 millimeter is equals to 1 meter. In plot plans, the ratio we use is 1,000, 1 is to 500 or 1 is to 200. Well, when we compare it to 1 meter, 12 millimeters is equals to 1 meter and 5 millimeters is equals to 1 meter. For plot plans, the ratio we use is 1 is to 100 and 1 is to 80, where in the comparison to 1 meter for 1 is to 100 is 10 millimeters which is equivalent to 1 meter, and the 1 is to 80 is 12.5 millimeters equals to 1 meter. In floor plans, we use the ratios of 1 is to 75, 1 is to 50, and 1 is to 40. Wherein we compare it to 1 meter, 1 is to 75 is equal to 13.3 millimeters, which is equal to 1 meter. And the 1 is to 50 is 20 millimeters equals to 1 meter. The 1 is to 40 is equivalent to 25 millimeter equals to 1 meter. And the details, we use the ratio of 1 is to 20, 1 is to 10, and 1 is to 5. Where in the comparison to 1 meter is 50 millimeters, which is equal to 1 meter, 100 millimeter equals to 1 meter, and the 200 mm, which is equal to 1 meter. Scaling actual measurements. How do we convert corresponding scale measurement from an actual measurement? Follow the suggested computation. The first example is the length of a bedroom measures 2.5 meters. What will be the measurement to be used in drawing if it is in a 100 meters and 1 is to 50 meters? Letter A. Convert the given actual measurement to the desired metric unit. Example in centimeter. Since 1 meter is equivalent to 100 centimeter, then 2.5 meters times 100 is equal to 250 cm. The next thing, divide the converted unit with the desired scale as shown. If scale is 1 is to 100 meters, then 250 centimeter divided by 100 is equal to 2.5 cm. If scale is 1 is to 50 meters, then 250 cm divided by 50 will be 5 centimeters long, which means 1 is to 1 meters is equal to 2.5 meter. If scale is 1 is to 100 metric scale, 
use 2.5 centimeter in the drawing. If scale is 1 is to 50 metric scale, use 5 centimeters in the drawing. How about if you want to know the actual measurement of a given drawing? Follow the suggested computation. Example, a kitchen layout measures 3 centimeters. What will be the actual measurement if the drawing is drawn in letter A? 1 is to 100 metric scale and letter B, 1 is to 50 metric scale. A. Convert the given measurement in meters. Since 1 meter is equivalent to 100 centimeter, then 3 centimeters is divided by 100, which is equal to 0.03 meter. Letter B. Multiply the converted value with the scale used to draw a show. If scale is 1 to 100 meters, then 0.03 meter times 100 is equal to 3 meters. If scale is 1 to 50 metric scale, and 0.03 meters times 50 is equal to 1.5 meters. Which means, if scale used is 1 to 100 metric scale, the actual measurement of the kitchen is 3 meters. If scale used is 1 to 50 metric scale, the actual measurement of the kitchen is 1.5 meters. Dimensioning Dimensioning involves the process of placing sizes and other related information on a drawing. The main purpose of dimensioning is to provide a clear and complete description of an object. A complete set of dimensions will permit only one interpretation needed to construct the part. A good dimensioning should follow guidelines to ensure accuracy, clearness, completeness, and readability. There are two methods of dimensioning used for working drawing. The first one is the aligned method. In aligned method, all dimensions are placed aligned with the dimension line and delete from either the bottom or right side of the paper. This is the old method. While the unidirectional method, all dimensions are read from the bottom of the page. And this is the current method. Let us do the task in scaling and dimensioning. We have here an example of floor plan. What you are going to do is to draw the given floor plan below using the scale of 1 is 2 and, and apply and follow the guidelines in proper dimension. As I have said a while ago, the smaller the number used in metric scale, the bigger the size in the triangular scale. For us, the larger the number used, the smaller size in the actual measurement. If you don't have a triangular scale, you can divide all the measurements that you can see in the floor plan by 0.50. Since we are going to redraw the given floor plan using the scale of the 1 is to 50. Prepare the copy of material that you are going to redraw. Since we are going to scale the drawing by 1 is to 50 meters, divide all the measurements into 0.50.
lands of Bowie, where it is a necessary lands and privilege.